Zer's back for week 101, so we're going to find out what he has this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is week 101 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It is a growing community each day. It just gets bigger and bigger. Also, a link to the Discord as well as the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, Zer is located on Titan. And he is in the rig. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? I see your so, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Telesto. It's an exotic fusion rifle. Then we have the Aeon Swift for the Hunter. The Verity's Brow for the Warlock, as well as the Stronghold for the Titan. We're going to go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week. And try to perk on this unplanned reprieve, which fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed avoid blast. Then we have projection fuse, harbinger's pulse, which multi kills with this weapon immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from uh, reserves. Then we have polymer grip. It doesn't come with them, but there are two different ornaments. One is the dread from below, and the other is their reef and ruins. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and definitely grab it. It's definitely tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, if you guys don't know to the tier scale, it will be in the description box below. Next, we have the Aeon Swift. Uh, the intrinsic perk on this is Aeon Energy, which dodging grants energy to nearby Aeon Cultists. Real quick, I I'm just going to say this. This is a tier 5 hands down PvE and PvP. This thing is terrible. Don't waste your time. Next exotic is the Verity's Brow for the Warlock. And to perk on this is the fourth magic, which energy weapon kills recharge grenades faster. Then we have scout rifle targeting, uh, heavy lifting, energy weapon targeting, fusion rifle reserves, as well as grenade launcher reserves. And doesn't have an ornament on it. But this is an okay exotic. It's not really top tier. So I'm probably going to give it a tier 2.5 to even tier 3 in pve as well as pvp next we have the stronghold uh trying to perk on this it's clinched fist which bonuses to guarding with sword then we have sidearm loader light arms loader rifle loader linear fusion rifle scavenger as well as shotgun scavenger and this actually has a ornament called auto's resolve it's pretty good. Now, this is more so a PvE exotic than a PvP one, so I am probably going to go ahead and give this a tier 2.5 in PvE, but probably definitely a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. It's not really that good. Um, maybe even a tier 4 in PvP, I'm sorry. But it's, it's decent. Um, but I just know that I don't have one and I collect exotics. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one just for the hell of it. Next, we have your consumables, which is the uh, Nightfall Challenge card. And if you still have the invitations, um, here it is. And then we have your wonderful Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. Let's just go ahead and see what pops up. I already have the Frosties, so... It's probably just going to constantly give me repeats of what I already have. I think the only exotic I don't have, unfortunately, is the Jotun. And now, my friends, we're just at the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.